recording now? Yes. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. It's my birthday. What are we doing for your birthday? If you can't tell by all the crap in the back. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but we've got a whole carload of goodies and fun stuffs. We are going camping. Where are we camping? You're the one who... Soul House Broad in Norfolk. We're just going to the Broads. Not far. It's less than an hour away. Not far, but somewhere, somewhere fun. Really nice close by. We will be doing a impromptu like unpacking and review of our new uh, Trangia. Yeah, we've got Trangia. And we will also be having a look at our new tent setup. Yes. Which is a, if you can remember. I think it's a Eurohike <laughs> TP and we bought it because the reviews were really bad and we just thought it would be funny. We had a gift card to use and didn't need anything. So, um, so yeah. we're going to review a bad tent. Hopefully it's not as bad as what everyone says it is. And hopefully it doesn't rain. So we're uh, we're gonna drive. I need to turn the car on because it's hot as balls. Oh, we're in a sauna. Uh, right I'm now, sweating. Um, so we'll Ooh. catch up with you when we get there. Toodle pit. Toodle pit. Yeah, you've got no business having it this hot on your birthday. I know, it's an amazing... It's too hot. Well happy. Right. So... So this is the... Uh, this is the teepee, this is our tent. It's the Eurohike teepee. Um, Euro it's one of the worst reviewed tents on Go Outdoors because apparently it's not waterproof. I thought it would be a problem, but as you can see, not there's literally not a cloud in the, in the sky. <laughs> we just put our uh, Factor 50 on because ginger and Welsh jeans. Absolutely uh, glorious, brother. So, it took uh, about... 10 minutes to put up and most of that was because I didn't know what I was doing with the guidelines but I've learnt now so yeah it will be a lot faster in the future by far one of the easiest tents I've ever had to put up one pole in the middle easy peasy and I'm squeezy. which is not straight because although this says this is a, a four-man tent I'm assuming it means like sleep pads and sleeping bags not double air beds but you know we wanted some comfort after this how more, badly we slept last time. This is more like your wild hiking slash like up a mountain rather than yeah. We've natural. got um, windfish who comes with us on our all our major trips. I had one as a kid and insisted that we got one for our married adventures. Marcus is in bed already because he had a very long fifty minute drive. He was strapped to the bag as well. Like, it was very uncomfortable for him. Yeah, but um, so that's the tent. We got Carl's little fire pit. Well, Ready to go later. It's going to be a new slate of run. Lovely. Looking forward to that. It's so pretty. Absolutely fantastic. And the best thing is, tonight this campsite's ours. Like, we're the, we are the only people here. Yeah, there's no one else booked in, which is really sad. Well, it's a Sunday, so you, you know. But like, look. Oh, I love Norfolk. Why would you live anywhere else? Um, fire pit for later. If we don't want to use that one, we can sit on the logs and, I don't know, reminisce. I mean, the people we're camping with, I've been friends with. Play games one of them for 27 years so play games yeah and then um you can't drive on the field so that's super nice and then uh we've got a new transier which we're going to talk about in a bit so it's your birthday but this was my birthday present to myself in april yes um finally bought a transier bought one big enough for four people because we do camp with friends like this evening um they were asking if it's big enough to cope with everyone's food and I was like yeah yeah no problem we'll do a barbecue um slightly worried now <laughs> well, we've, we've got the two pans and that'll be that'll be fine so if you want to open her up right. I'm so excited about so the I, off, it's immediately off the bat this little like uh, like built-in strap with the security I really like this it's really fun, it's a really nice design. I'm really sad that you've chosen to do it all topless. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> to put this on your OnlyFans. <laughs> so we have a that's, plate. That's a, well, yeah. You can, you can use it as a plate or a, plate or a pan, really. Um, that's the lid to the kettle. Teapot. Uh, some stuff in a bag. Interesting and fun. It doesn't want to... There we go. Right. We have... That's our, that's our little teapot. It's got, I think that has the, if you open that bag. It has the burner. It has the burner in it. And there's a pot. That would do enough food for, like I've got 
I think I bought the one for four people. I don't know. It, that feels like a big pot for one person, so. Yeah, it's our little alcohol burner. There's the alcohol burner. And. Oh, that's the clip to use the pans. Ah. Very cool. Did not know. Very, very cool. I'm slightly disappointed about this transfer because um, I did take it out of the box to have a look at it when it arrived because I was really excited. I ordered it from Go Outdoors when I ordered the pot. tent. Yep, another pot. And um, it's scratched and scruffy and the box was completely dented in and it just made me sad. So one goes upside down. Oh, okay. oh it goes on like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are learning, you see. And then, well, I don't think it goes quite like that, but... It goes in there. <laughs> no, look, here you go. Have some instructions, new boy. Um, I'm a man. We don't need these. <laughs> no man worth his own salt ever goes to the instructions. Let's have a read. Hope you're well. Thank you very much. Right. Move that out of the way. That's upside down. This comes off because you don't want to set fire to it. It's totally removed. That goes on like that. I'm sure everyone watching this has a transure and has had one for a very long time and is looking at us and, and crying. And but crying the whole point in our channel is that we haven't really got a clue what we're doing. We're buying the cheaper products. Um, Netflix because we can't afford to do all the big fancy camping yeah, with the Netflix big fancy like that. tents. Right. That's, uh, that's the Trunger, ready. Yeah, and then and you put a little pot on it. After that. Yeah. After that. After that. Yeah. Trunger! I love the kettle. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> no! Wrong side. Jenga. Trunger, Jenga. But, um... Yeah, we, it's the, probably one of the most expensive bits of kit we have because we try and do everything on a slight budget because we're not made of money. We are farmers and there is no money in that. Like, comment, subscribe. More people who do that, then we'll get like bigger, more expensive stuff. You know the deal. Uh, well, it's not bigger, more expensive. <laughs> I quite like doing it on a budget because it shows that anyone can do it. So we're just learning. I'd like to do more wildfire cooking. Yeah, I like, mean... On like hot stones and stuff. Yeah. I've seen a few videos of that. I would like, love to give that a go. I mean, we, we will. It's just, it's been nothing but torrential rain recently and I don't want to go out in that. I look like I'm talking to the transit now. Hello. You can't, you need, yeah, I made the jungle power right now. There we go. You can't really, it's really difficult trying to keep the channel, like, alive as such when you're so dependent upon weather. Because it's not, it's not a case of, oh, we're, we're cowards of the rain, we're not. It's just that all of our stuff is like, it performs best in the dry. We'll do, we'll do like a camp, we'll do like uh, camp, camp videos in like torrential rain and thunderstorms if we have to, if we need to. If we get caught out in it, then yeah, by all means we'll record. But I'm not in the position where I can just be like, yeah, no, nah, I'm just gonna go, even though I already know it's pissing it down outside. <laughs> yeah, it is a struggle with having the farm and being tied to it, but I don't know, like this is less than an hour from home and I'm really not hating it. And the, the broads are like literally right over there. We're so close to the Norfolk broad. So we're going to go down to the water when our, our friends get back and pitch their tent, their new tent. Oh, because they what happened their to them? Well, I, I did go over it briefly earlier, but um, I was at the car and when I came back over, I told them off for arguing, there is a deer in that field or a hare. It's either a muntjac or a hare. It's over by the hedgerow. You have really good eyesight. I can't see it. I saw its white little bum. <laughs> ah. But, um, oh, there's a spider hanging off my hat. Um, yeah, they forgot their poles, so they've gone to get a tent. But that's fine, because we needed to go and get some food and stuff anyway. So it's really not a problem um, for us. <laughs> we love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's OK. It's OK. Worst things have happened to us while camping. Like, we've had tents blown down, poles snap, tents collapse heat stroke you've heard about uh, uh, you've heard about the honeymoon the honeymoon we were uh we used my really old tent that was massive and oh look i don't know if my camera's going to pick that up oh wow quite i hope it picks it up oh my gosh so all of a sudden this is 
kind of turn, kind of turn into a... Sorry, I'm getting really excited. This, this kite is like, it looks probably, if you can even see it on the camera, it probably looks really far away, but it was really close. Um, yeah, we went away camping for our honeymoon and uh, it, we put the tent up in a thunderstorm, which I wouldn't advise. And then no. uh, essentially we woke up in ankle deep water in the morning and had to go and buy a tent. Oh my God, it was hard no. work. And I really like the tent that we bought, but for a one night camp, it's too much. Yeah, like, very, very big tent. I really am thinking about replacing a pole and then gifting it to my brother and his family because they want a tent to go camping. They'll be more useful for them. It's just too big. It's just too big for us. Yeah. Like so. I like big and luxurious. I like my home, my creature comforts. I like to feel homey, but that's... You could fit the two of us and, and, a, and a dog in there comfortably. So, yeah. <clears throat> So one of the reasons we went to Ireland and one of the reasons we've come away for your birthday is very sadly, if you watched our last video, not our last video, our review video, you would have seen our elderly dog trundling around in the garden. Um, Alfie had dementia and we took him for a checkup and they found a huge mass on his spleen and one on his liver. And he wasn't himself, was he? he? wasn't interested in the vet, he wasn't excited. He, like, you know how dogs are when they go to the vets, they have some reaction. He just laid on the floor and went to sleep. Um, yeah, he... So we did, I hear a really weird noise and it is a bumblebee just taking up pollen. I think it's a bumblebee fighting with another bug. I think it's a bumblebee and a hoverfly fighting over the same flower. Yeah, anyway, um, we, because he had dementia, he was aggressive, he had to be sedated before they could put him to sleep. Um, so, so they sedated him, which actually turned out to, we were laughing because he um, was snoring. He, he was, he's a very deep, he's like, he's a very deep sleeper and he's a very deep snorer. Um, there's been times in the past where Maria has actually kicked me awake and told me off to snore and, and then she's apologised me after the dog. because it's the dog. So he was audibly snoring when he went and he went very peacefully and very quickly. Um, but he was 14. I rescued him 12 years ago. He's been in Carl's life seven years. I got him when he was two. And um, the, it's left a massive, a massive hole. I had him through a divorce, through... Um, starting my whole life again through pregnancy loss and getting diagnosed with my disease and recovering from surgeries and I just thought he was going to be here for my main recovery after my next surgery and uh, there's just been all sorts of stuff I've had to to deal with and like because we can't have children having the dog was like our, he was like what made our family like a unit like we've got cats yeah, but he, they're not the same they don't care he made us whole you yeah know, he's, and, um, it's very noticeable that he's no longer here yeah and, and it, it, it's um He's left a massive hole. It's not, I wouldn't say it's raw. It's, uh, uh, it's not raw anymore, but like it's very noticeable. Yeah. The house, like, we still notice that the house is quiet in the mornings. Yeah. But we're going to um, save up, hopefully move into our own place. And we're currently, we've just set up a savings account for 2.0. So our next dog will be a very similar breed. Um, we're going to keep his name a secret for now, I think. And the breed secret for now. Um, yeah watch this space. Yeah, there will be a new Nicholson team member at some point. I mean, we've got Scotland in September, so it won't be before then. Um, but oh my God, I'm, I am mean, excited to, uh, for our little family unit to grow. What is that fly? The only thing that would make this better right now is a dog, right? Yes, So. most definitely. Yeah. And until then, we have the cat. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with them, if I'm honest. Like, they... <laughs> I'm not a cat person. I like cats, they're alright. But like, I don't know, I just had Alfie so long and I, I'm i not going to be one of those people that says, oh, I feel like I lost a child. That bee is going ham, it's upside down now on that. It is on a fly. <laughs> it's like, give me the, I'm going to let them fight it out. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Say bye. Bye. Got my finger. <laughs> you go have a look at the, you see where you want <laughs> On this walk, you'll connect with the nature around you, those that you love, and even yourself. But before that, now's the time to switch off your phones and turn on relaxation mode. <laughs> ah. <laughs>
<laughs> You're such a twat. I need to put it out Charge so I can you. add more fuel. Charge your cooking. You ha no, don't do that. You close the cap. That's what it's there for. You suffocate it. Just spin the thing round. Yeah, okay. No, don't take the thing off. Yeah, okay. This is what happens when you buy a keg and then cook with a trancher. Shut up! Come on, birthday boy. That's it. That's it. And then give it a minute to make sure it's out. Hey. Hey. Good birthday. Good birthday. You have Thanks. fire. I have. I have fire. You've had meat. I have had meat. You've I'm been, having more meat. You've been to pub. I've had. I've been to the pub. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've had a great. I've had a great birthday. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys for making a bird. Thank you guys for showing up. Yay. You're not in shot. Don't worry. No. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. you and um, be safe tomorrow. Beach day tomorrow, we're going to get a nice, a nice few shots, going to go bodyboarding, going to go bodyboarding on my new board, looking forward to it. I bought it last year in Devon, haven't had much of a chance to use it since then because Norfolk is like, you know, Norfolk. Yeah. And kind of landlocked, deep, not really. It's a bit of a distance to go. Yeah. Before we can find the, like the coastline with the good waves, which is what where we're going tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Talk to yourself. So yeah, so yeah, it's very easy talking when the camera's pointing over there, but it's like actually in your face. It is a little bit jarring, not gonna lie. So yeah, beers up, cheers up, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for joining us on uh, my birthday adventure. Like, comment, and subscribe. And this one and that one, we'll see you next video. Ah, boy. Morning. Morning. This, I don't even know what the time is now. I think it's like seven ish. Half seven? Half seven. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I've been up since four. I've been having a really bad flare. Carl actually woke up because I was crying. Um, and I tried to go back to bed for a bit, and at, I think it was about six. I got up to go to the toilet, and our fire was still firing. So, not like this. We've. <laughs> <laughs> this is like three hours later but um so i got carl up to help me just put it out and we decided to just stay up and be warm instead so that's what we've done but this is what happens at endo isn't it we're like yeah let's go to the beach and, and have a beach day and now i'm up and i'm like oh my god like how am i even going to drive home yeah, it's not fun. But you're probably quite happy with just gaming anyway. Like, I... Diablo 4 got a new update. Day <laughs> I start playing it again, so... You could live with it. I'm okay with it. But this goes into what we've said before in mm -hmm. the past. Like, you learn... I don't want to be on camera, but I, um... I will, I will let you show the people the state of me this morning. Like what full flare looks like. Right, so you know, you learn very quick to not have plans and not to make plans in like too far in advance. Because stuff like this happens <laughs> and she gets flary. And it's fine, like it's fine, you can flare, it's okay. But, you know, at the same time, it's really not okay because she's in pain and that sucks. And also, I don't know if they mm. can see this, but my Udi is covered in the blue chemicals from the top port loo from where I was being sick this morning. I'm like, uh, hopefully it caught. <laughs> no showers on this campsite and I feel rather dirty. But I've got to admit, 
Poor toilets on a campsite. Pretty big win. Yeah, I do like really it. Really big win. It's like having your own chemical toilet that didn't have to empty. I think it was Oh, she be smoking now, boy. She be bellowing out of her. Bellowing out of Hume. Anyway. <clears throat> All right. I can't see Yeah, so that's, um, that's us today. It's a nice morning, though. This campsite's awesome. Oh, this, this is a beautiful sight. Really, really happy to have uh, spent my birthday here. Uh, last night was really fun. We played bowls. <laughs> I got lemon cake. Excuse me. So, yeah, we played bowls. I got lemon cake. Uh, many beers were consumed. It was a very good night. Not that many. No? It's no, because it's those little cups. So you we got like through you... a keg. Yeah, the keg had 10 pints. So you think 10 pints between four people is two and a bit pints each? Mm-hmm. Fair, fair. Plus, drinking our little goblets makes you feel like you're drinking more. Yeah. Top tip for you. Yeah. Did I remember that one? Drink plenty out of small cups. Yeah. We may or may not be bodyboarding today. Probably not. We'll see what happens. But we'd try not to be too pessimistic about it, so fingers crossed.